is this is the they problem with the that stupidity. If were, yeah. This is the problem with the stupidity of the establishment. Like, if you take a thousand brown people and put us in a room, what I will tell you is, just in case, here's a fucking memo for all you white people out there: we're not all the goddamn same. Okay. And if you put a thousand black people, here's the memo now for the Democrats and the Republicans. They're not all the same. You can take a thousand Hispanics and it turns out they're not all the same. So maybe, you know, you can take a thousand straight people, a thousand gay people. They're, we're not all the fucking same. So maybe what this means is that we've moved past color and now ideology and social policy and economic and monetary and fiscal, all of these things that the totality of how a rational, well-developed person makes a decision, maybe that's at hand. And before, if we historically only thought, you know, older white men and white women could do it, maybe now it actually applies independent of color and gender. Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. And I would add to that, that um, uh, if, if Trump's victory in 2016 laid waste to the Republican establishment. If he wins again tonight, it will lay waste to the Democratic establishment. And the theory of the case that they've had for 20 years, the sort of uh, share uh, emerging Democratic majority case that they just had to sit back and let demography become destiny, and they could just uh, graft an identity politics onto the same neoliberal economic agenda they've been pushing since the late 1980s, and it would all just somehow magically produce uh, ma majority results in the country. They are going to have to go back to the drawing board and, and I think get more populist themselves and come up with some kind of version of politics that is isn't it, isn't more it in the Bernie mold. It's, it needs to be left, but not woke. Isn't it going to be socialism? It's, it probably is going to be socialism, but, it, I mean, but it needs that's to not like be. If you, if you lay waste to the center, you know, you're left. <laughs> like, I mean, that's basically what happened well, in 2016 I, I'm gonna... with the Republicans. And now if you're saying the same is going to happen with the Democrats, this time around, you're going to have AOC running for president in four years. And I mean, yeah, she won't be the right brand, though, because she's woke. You, guys, you, there's you two need things, a Sherrod Brown. You don't need uh, AOC. We need okay, a charismatic so, Democratic candidate. Someone somehow Sherrod Brown keeps getting elected in, in increasingly red Ohio as an old school, <laughs> gravelly voiced Irish labor Democrat. And somehow Bernie ignited a movement as a very old school, uh, gravelly voiced uh, Jewish Democrat, uh, neither of whom gave a damn about identity politics, really. They were co principally concerned with inequality and uh, income redistribution. I, uh, I, wanna, don't, I, wanna I don't want to see that happen, but I think that's the only path forward for the Democrats. Hold on. Let's, let me go to Phil, because Phil had something he wants to add there, and then we'll go to you, Chumap. Yeah, I want to say that we needed for the Democrats, and uh, they just needed. A, I think they needed a very they needed a charismatic, powerful leader with a lot of charisma. I mean, I know that you know the I was hanging out with one of the Trump guys that was with him on the plane in the 2016 election. He said that you know he outworked Hillary. There's no doubt that he outworked Biden. I mean, this guy's going to seven rallies a day, um, showing up with a ton of energy, and he has. You know, like him or not, he has a lot of charisma. Also, I can't help but think that if you're talking about re repudi repudi repudiating, sorry, I'm getting that word wrong. Um, to me, this is all about, I think a lot of people are really scared of socialism. Okay. And I think it's just like even the young people that, you know, even the young people, you know, who say that they love it, they're looking at their path to the future. And, and with and, you know, they can they can still do great things. There's no doubt you can still be a 20 year old and, and make a billion dollars by the time you're 30 or 40. And I think with socialism, that goes away. I think that, um, look, I, uh, I, I think if Trump does win, um, I don't think what it means is that you need a, a, a person that's at the extreme left to win. I actually counterintuitively would say the obvious. The opposite, which is that you need just a more credible, centered person. Now, that may only be possible if the Democratic Party cleaves in two. And the reality is the Republicans may actually quasi cleave in two, independent of whether Trump wins or not anyways. Um, and we'll see, as David said, how some of these Senate seats break, because if that goes in a different direction, you know, for example, if Trump wins, but we have, you know, a Democratic tie in the Senate, maybe that's not possible. Um, but, um, I think that would say a lot around, um, the need for pragmatic, but more youthful leadership.